Drive the back roads of Santa Barbara. You sit shotgun to your... Hi, my name's Peter Plank. I make music under the name Heart Cave, and I'm going to play a song today called Santa Barbara. I wrote this song in the summer of 2017. Uh, my dad passed away that summer, and he got sick really suddenly, and it was really unexpected. Um, and basically, uh, got sick, and two weeks later, there was a hospice bed in our living room, and we were going through all of that. So while he was on hospice, um, we talked about well, some of his last wishes were, and part of that was where he wanted his ashes spread. And uh, he lived all over the country his entire life. He lived like this incredible, just super adventurous life. Um, but one of his favorite places that he lived was Santa Barbara. And he talked about it often. And um, he asked our family to spread some of his ashes at Santa Barbara. And uh, with just life being the way it is, we weren't able to get there right away. So I sort of wrote this song after he died as a placeholder of like, haven't been able to spread your ashes there yet, but uh, this song is sort of gonna serve as a tribute um, just to honor him and his memory and uh, sort of a promise to myself that one day uh, I'll spread your ashes on the beach of Santa Barbara like you wanted. There's so many things that are special about my dad. Um, it's hard to know where to begin, but the number one thing is he owned any room that he walked into. Um, he was a guy who just had like a million gags, a million jokes that he could use as at his disposal to make friends with absolutely everyone. Um, one of his favorite things was he had these business cards and when somebody would ask for his card, um, he would hand them a card and the card only had his name on it, which was Don, <laughs> no other information. And uh, that was like sort of a conversation started for him. People thought that was hilarious because obviously the business card's completely useless. Um, but that was just sort of like the guy he was. Nothing was ever expected with him. Um, he always put a smile on your face and uh, was always sort of the center in att of attention in a really good way, so. Yeah, the music came first, oddly enough. I didn't like sit down to write a song about, you know, my dad or anything. It was just, uh, I had this progression and uh, I'm gonna do a stripped back version of it today, but uh, on the version of the single I put out, it has this like very groovy, like it's almost like you're driving through a beach, like backbeat and I sort of built that up in my home studio and then just went from there and I was like, man, this has like, this beach vibe sound, almost like you're driving like through a beachfront town um, during the summer. And I thought, what does that make me think of right now with everything that I'm dealing with? Um, and it made me think of the beach that my dad wanted his ashes to be spread on. So then it just sort of took off from there. And uh, I just got the notion of just, the main part of the song, I guess the main line is, I envisioned my dad standing on this beach that he wanted us to spread his ashes on when he was like a young man. Um, and part of him just knowing, like intuitively, um, that he would leave some part of himself there. And that's sort of like the main image of the song that I try to draw from. This one's interesting to do strip back and hopefully the words come through a little bit more. But um, I just came up with this progression, right? And it was just these four chords. Um, so just imagine that looping over and over and over again. Um, at my home studio and I wrote the song sequentially. So like I didn't start with the chorus, I just wrote it uh, in the exact order that it goes with. So uh, the choruses are different, the verses are different and the first line is uh, 
We'll drive the back roads of Santa Barbara. You sit shotgun till we find some water. And then the song just like took off from there. So sort of like a play on words of I'm imagining me sitting in my car driving through Santa Barbara, but it's just my dad's ashes and like the urn sitting there riding shotgun instead of like what the song insinuates, which is like, you know, an actual living, not dead person. Um, so, and then it just goes from there. Um, and then to the chorus sort of goes to a central theme of the song um, and the progression changes there. And uh, the first chorus mentions like an age. Um, so it goes, I imagine you at 35 standing in my place knowing inside. Right, so the the notion of him like standing in a place similar to where I was standing while I'm spreading his ashes is, is just something that I doubt would actually be a reality, but it's how um, I, I felt emotionally of like um, just the connection of being able to be in a place that someone you loved, loved deeply, changed their life, was a seminal part of their life, um, and being able to end part of their story while beginning a part of your story at that same place. Um, just that mirroring the fact that, you know, he started his life there um, in many ways as a young person. He wasn't born there, but he like started um, business there. He just started different a phase of his life there. Um, and being able to end it there is something that's really special. This one's called Santa Barbara. We'll drive the back roads of Santa Barbara. You sit shotgun till we find some water. Spread the last of you on the ocean floor. Will I wait here on the shore? I imagine you at thirty-five. later and I'm gone back to those roads of highway one I imagine you at 51 taking a drag under the sun Take off a of few.